Denny Ross is literally in for the fight for his life. He's looking at a capital murder charge for allegedly killing Hannah Hill. In opening arguments, a prosecutor told jurors Ross killed Hill by choking her. Jurors were also given a science lesson because an autopsy report indicated Hill was beaten on her head and face, and traces of sulfur and carbon were found in her facial wounds. And that has no significance to you right now <clears throat> until you learn that the defendant at the time Hannah turned up missing, was wearing a cast. He had broken his hand and had a cast in his arm. And that cast was made up of carbon and sulfur. The state also contends there's evidence that suggests Ross sexually assaulted Hill. The man whose DNA was in Hannah's underwear and the man with a cast. And I'm sure you will agree that only one man could have sexually assaulted, beaten, and killed Hannah Hill. That man is sitting right there, Danny Ross. Ross has a team of nationally acclaimed attorneys to defend him. And the defense was quick to say Ross did not rape Hill, so he had no motive to kill her. His attorney also mentioned Hill was in an abusive relationship with her boyfriend, Brad O'Born. We will have witnesses who will testify that Mr. O'Born dragged Miss Hill by her hair, hit her. Mr. O'Born, by his own admission to witnesses, acknowledged that he had many fights with Miss Hill. In fact, Ross's attorney claims after Hill disappeared, Oborn had scratches. This is her boyfriend. There is a motive. Here's a man who fought with her, who was jealous of her, who was constantly angry at her, with scratches all over him. 